Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm really excited about today's topic. I'm going to be combining a lot of different elements into this concept to how to make your dashboards really pop. So we've got a dashboard and we have a customer list and we also have the annual sale sales by year. Now what I want to have is I'd like to be able to hover over a customer and have the annual sales change. So we're going to come up here to dashboard. This is something that we've all seen. Come to filter. We're going to say show um, customer annual sales. And we're going to do it on hover. Customer list is going to be the source. And the thing that we want to have changed is the annual sales. And we're going to exclude all the values. So if I'm not hovering any over anything, they all disappear. So that looks great. Well, I can tell you right now, I don't like to have this customer annual sales shown when there's nothing else being highlighted. So we're going to go ahead and hide that. Now, as we come over here, we're still selecting it. Uh, you can't tell which person your name is on. Am I on Alan Barnes or Alan Domin Dominguez? Domin I apologize. So now what we're going to do is come over to customer annual sales. Uh, it's already got the filter applied. Let's pull that off just so we can see what we're doing. Now, what I like, this is the this is the trick. We're going to come up here. We're going to edit. We're going to just type in customer name because we want that to show up. And we're going to plus, actually, no quotation marks. We're going to have character. This is an ASCII character. And I'm saying ASCII character number 13, which corresponds to the return key. Then I'm going to just type in annual sales. We may have to move this around. Yeah, I think we have to move this around. We want the customer name on top. Okay, good. That's what we want. We don't want this line. You see this line here? I don't want that. I'm going to right click. Um, it's hide the field labels for the columns. Initially, I came up here to show header and got rid of the header. And you'll see here that disappeared. We actually want the header. We don't want the field labels. All right. Almost there. Come back over to the dashboard. And now as we hover, can you see it's got the right name? The problem is the return value doesn't seem to be picking up. So what we need to do, we get rid of this again, is we're actually going to give it some more space. So that should give you two lines. And now you can see that you're going to have two lines. And so when you come here, it should give you annual sales on a different line. And you could flip that around if you wanted. The next thing that I don't like about this, if you look at this chart, you see 2014, 2015, 2016 is missing, 2017. Uh, that can get a little confusing if you're looking at things really quickly. You know, hey, I've got two values. Is it 16, 17? Is it 14, 17? It's a little confusing. So we'll come back here to annual sales. Get rid of this. Actually, we don't even need to get rid of that. But come up to the year. Pull that down, and it should give us show missing values. So you can click on missing, show missing values. And now when you come through here, there still shows the 2016, even if you don't have any values there. 